to the shiny ice hunting location video. This is probably going to be the shortest video in the entire series because they barely added ice Pokemon into this DLC. Please, Game Freak, create more ice type Pokemon so we can have more. I, I don't know. I love ice Pokemon. Anyway, if you're looking for any other Pokemon types, make sure to check out the playlist for the teal mask as well as the Paudea playlist that we have for all the other different typing. Let's get into the video. Okay, so for the ice sandwich, what we're going to need is specifically cloth stick and we're going to use two salty Herba Mysticas. Feel free to write down a better recipe in the comments down below. And if you don't want to use Herba Mystica, you could use an encounter power sandwich number two. If you've done it right, you should have sparkling power ice and encounter power ice. All right, let's get hunting. If you're looking for a very good Sneasel spot to hunt in the teal mask, well, here's an interesting spot on the map. You might think it's Chilling Cave, but actually you're going to head over to the Timeless Woods and you're going to go all the way down to this bottom part of it right here. And this is where a Snorlax might appear in your game. So you could just probably just auto battle it and take it out. But when you walk inside of here, this is going to be really interesting. You're going to start to see Sneasels. And what you want to do is you could place yourself right against this wall here. You can face that direction. And then all of a sudden, in a second, we should start to see Sneasels spawn. Whoa! Oh, no, wait! That's not possible. That's, that's cap. Okay, well, I guess it worked, right? Subscribe for that one. What? Wow. Yeah. So like I was saying, you want to place yourself against the back left of this wall so that you can get a bunch of Sneasel to show up. If you don't get a good amount, make sure to find yourself a spot in this cave in order to do a picnic reset and make sure you're also facing the correct wall in order to pull this off. So yeah, I'm just going to place myself right here on the left side. It seems to get the most spawns back left. Yep. There it is. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you get a quite a few. So this was definitely going to be a great spot to hunt your Sneasels. So the big Pokemon that everyone's going to be looking for is obviously going to be Swinub. And this is what Swinub looks like. It's second evolution and it's third evolution as shinies. And what you want to do is exit out the east side of Masui Town. So we're basically just going to be doing a town reset for this. So when you come out, you're going to be right on Revelers Road and you can see that the Swinub are spawning right in front of us. You'll get an amount that spawns just like that. You always look to your right as well as there is a massive group right to the right of you. And obviously just look for the odd colored one out. Just go in and out the town simply. It's going to be really easy to do that. Just keep a lookout. Don't forget to turn right. A lot of people forget to turn around and see what's in front of them or look to the left. Sometimes you get that odd. One. There you go. You get might get that one or two in the spawns there. If you're struggling to see, make sure to zoom in. That way you can confirm uh, if it's not brown, if you have a hard time seeing some colors. So you can do that as well to assist you. So that's all you got to do. Town reset right at Masui Town, east exit, and you should be able to get your shiny. So good luck with that. Now, if you're going to be hunting for snow runt, it's probably best not to do it in the lands of Kitikami, but rather go to Baudea. But there's an interesting spot where I guess you could call it a triple auto battle hunt. So what you have to do is head to the crystal pool. And then from there, just follow me. We're going to exit out of this little triangle area. So just like hug this area and fly towards the right, just like this. There should be a terrestrialized Pokemon there. And what you want to do is just continue towards this spot here. You're going to see a sign and then you're going to just drop down this area. Continue down straight here. And this is where we're going to arrive into a special cave entrance right over here to the right. As soon as you enter, we'll get the chilling waterhead entrance for this cave, which is like the only biggest cave in this entire DLC. But when you come down here, you'll start to see multiple Pokemon showing up, including Sneasels, including Pillow Swine. You got Wineubs here. And also when you walk around and eliminate Pokemon, you'll get some snow run showing up here too. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much like an auto battle spot. If you want to place your character in a certain spot, send out your Pokemon to go eliminate some of those in front. And you just get a variety of of different spawns here. Now, Snow Run is supposed to spawn in here naturally, but you know, sometimes just the way spawns work, you won't get the Snow Run immediately upon coming here. So yeah, this is a great spot to do your triple hunt. There we go. There's some Snow Runs down here. So you can see them down over there. Just keep in mind, this is a great hunting spot for all of them. Not the best, but the great hunting spot in Kitakami. If you want to do all three of your ice hunts here, but that's pretty much it uh, for these Snow Runs. You should get these Pokemon over here. 